Dear friends, today I am going to explain the next bit from your chapter catalysis. That is the acid base catalysis. This word itself indicates that it is one of the type of catalysis in which acids or bases or acid and bases plays an a role of plays a role of catalyst. They may act as a catalyst to accelerate the rate of chemical reaction. And hence such a catalysis in which acids and bases are playing the role of acid base catalyst, that catalysis is called an acid base catalysis. Now we have to see some examples of the acid base catalysis where acids or bases are acting as a catalyst to accelerate to increase the rate of the chemical reaction. For example, example of the acid base catalysis. One thing you must have to keep in your mind that acid base catalysis is a that type of catalysis in which acids or bases or acid and bases they are acting as a catalyst and the process is called the acid base catalysis. Now, I am explaining some examples of the acid base catalysis. Inversion of cane sugar in which C12H22 O11 plus H2O will use the C6H12 O6 plus C6H12 O6 that is glucose and fructose. This reaction is catalyzed by the acids. As per the Bronsted theory of acid and bases, acids are the proton donor. For example, HCl, which is dissociating and forming the H plus plus Cl minus ion, means it is donating proton that is H plus N, and hence such compounds are called the Bronsted acids. Or this Bronsted base is the proton acceptors. For example, CO3COO minus, that is the acetate ion. which is accepting the proton and forming the CH3 COO H that is the acetic acid. In this case the proton is accepted received and hence the proton acceptors are called, are called the this is as per the Bronsted theory. Bronsted theory of acids and bases. As per the theory of the Bronsted, acids are the proton donors and bases are the proton acceptors. In this case, this H plus indicates that here is a acid which had given a proton for catalyzing the reaction. In this case, this is the cane sugar. Upon hydrolysis, in the presence of acid, it gives the glucose and fructose. Glucose and fructose have a same molecular formula, but their structural, form structural formula is somewhat different. In this way, 
inversion of cane sugar that reaction acid is played as a role of catalyst by its presence the rate of inversion of cane sugar reaction is enhanced in this gum and hence the reaction is a type of acid base catalysis then i am explaining the next example of the acid base catalysis one thing you have to keep in your mind that as per the bronsted concept or the theory acid is a proton donor this is a proton acceptor or the h plus ions giving compounds are the acids or the oh minus ion giving compounds are the bases for example naoh which dissociate and forming the na plus plus oh minus ion this is a base why it is so because it is giving a oh minus ion acid is a compound which gives the h plus ions that are called the acids these acids are the substances which give the h plus ions and bases are the substances which gives the oh minus ions as per the bronsted theory acids are the proton donors and bases are the proton acceptor means as per the bronsted theory acids and bases are explained on the basis of acceptance of proton or donation of the proton proton donors acid proton acceptors are bases then i explain the second example of the acid base catalysis that is the keto enol automerism of acetone acetone that is a ketone which upon reaction in the presence of acid it is converted into the enol form this is the enol form this is the keto form means conversion of keto form into enol form is called keto enol tautomerism of the acetone reactions in this case h plus ion compounds that is the acids are used here as a catalyst and hence it is a example of acid base catalysis third example decomposition of nitramide nitramide upon decomposition in presence of acid which gives the n2o plus h2o means the decomposition of nitramide is also a example of the acid base catalysis why it is so because this is the reaction which is catalyzed by the acid then the next example that is the hydrolysis of ester CS3 COO C2H5 that is the ethyl acetate 
that is a ester, which upon hydrolysis, in presence of H plus or OH minus, that is in the presence of acid or the base, it gives the CH3COOH, that is the acetic acid, plus C2H5OH, that is the ethyl alcohol or, or ethanol. Means in this reaction, of the hydrolysis of ester, that is the RCO or RDS, that is the ester, example of this is ethyl acetic, which upon hydrolysis, it gives the acetic acid and ethyl alcohol or the ethanol. In this reaction, H plus or OH minus ions are used as a acid base catalyst. And hence, it is also a, the example of the acid-base catalysis. Then we have to see the general acid-base catalysis. What is in my general acid-base catalysis? Now, see carefully, general acid-base catalysis. These are the different examples of the acid-base catalysis. Now we have to see the general acid-base catalysis. So, once again, take under consideration the Brownstead concept. As per the Brownstead theory, acids are the proton donors. Base are the proton acceptors. Not only, now we have to see the general acid base catalysis. Not only H plus ions, but all proton donors are acting as a acid catalyst. And the process is the acid catalysis. For example, H plus ion are the compounds which are donating H plus ions. Then, undissociated acids as like the CH3, COOH or Catalysts of weak bases, catalysts of weak bases, for example, NH4 plus or water is acting as a acid catalyst. Then second, not only OH minus ions, or the OH minus ion donating compounds are acting as a base catalyst, but all the Bronsted bases, that is the proton acceptors. All the proton acceptor compounds are acting as a base catalyst. For example, OH minus ion donating compounds, then undissociated bases, then anions of weak acid as like the CH3CO minus that is the acetic ion 
एंड वाट मीन्स वाट इन द केस ऑफ फर्स्ट अनडिसोसिएटेड एसिड्स दैट इज द सी एस थ्री सी ओ एच डिसोसिएटिंग एंड फॉर्मिंग द सी एस थ्री सी ओ ओ माइनस प्लस एच प्लस मीन्स दिस इज एक्टिंग एज ए प्रोटान डोनर फटाफट एच टू ओ एच टू ओ डिसोसिएटेड यू द एच प्लस प्लस ओ एच माइनस आयन हेन्स इट इज एक्टिंग एज ए प्रोटॉन डोनर एंड हेन्स द इट इज ऑल्सो एक्टिंग एज ए ब्रॉन्स्टेड एसिड मीन्स द कंसेप्ट ऑफ ब्रॉन एसिड्स जनरल एसिड्स एंड जनरल बेसिस इज नाउ वाइड इन एक्सपांडेड लेटर ऑन बाय द फर्दर स्टडी और इन द रिसेंट स्टडी एंड इट इज मेड अवे क्लियर दैट not only h plus ions but all the proton donor compounds are acting as a acid catalyst for the acid base catalysis and not only oh minus ions but all the bronsted bases that is the proton acceptor compounds are acting as a base catalyst for the acid base catalysis and hence जनरल एसिड बेस कैटलिसिस आर द प्रोसेस इन विच जनरल एसिड्स एंड जनरल बेसिस दे आर एक्टिंग एज ए जनरल एसिड बेस कैटलिस एंड एनहेंस द प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड द जनरल एसिड बेस कैटलिसिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ आई एम स्पिन द अदर एग्जाम्पल वे आर द जनरल एसिड बेस कंसेप्ट इज यूज डिकम्पोजिशन ऑफ नाइट्रामाइड इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सी एच थ्री सी ओ ओ माइनस इट यूज द एन टू ओ प्लस एच टू ओ means it is a reaction which is catalyzed here by the ch3co o minus what is ch3co o minus ch3co o minus is acting here as a proton acceptor it is accepting easily proton and forming the ch3co o minus accepting easily proton that is the h plus and forming the ch3 co oh that is the acidic acid means in this case here whatever the ion which is used that is not h plus as well as oh minus ion but even though it is playing a role of base that is the product acceptor and hence such compounds or the ions which are acting as a bronsted base or bronsted acids they may catalyzing the reactions and hence that general acids and base bases are also called the acids general acid base catalyst and the process is called the general acid base catalysis in this case ch3co minus is accepting the proton and hence it is acting as a base then we have to see how all these reactions is going on in detail what is the mechanism behind it how the acids or bases are playing an important role to accelerate the rate of reaction that we have to see under the mechanism now i am explaining the detailed mechanism how the acids or bases are playing important role in the accelerating the rate of chemical reactions so we have to see the mechanism of the acid base catalysis under the mechanism we have to see how the acids and bases are playing the important role 
to catalyze the chemical reactions. What happens when you are using the acids? As a catalyst, then they are forming the intermediate complex compounds. Which intermediate com complex compound later on dissociate into the product and making availability of the catalyst as it is. Now I am explaining the mechanism. of the acid base catalysis. First of all, I am explaining the how the acids are playing important role in the acid base catalysis. Acids used as catalyst. H plus I am in the acid I am showing the example of keto enol tautomerism where the acid is playing an important role in the formation of intermediate complex and that intermediate complex is further dissociated or decomposed into the product and the catalyst which used that will be made free HD. Ketoenol tautomerism example, that is the CSCC double bond of ketone, that is the acetone, which upon reacting in the presence of H plus ion, that is the acid, it forms the intermediate complex. This is the intermediate complex which upon further reaction it gives the CH3COH double bond CH2. This is the enol form plus H plus. This is the keto form. Means in the keto enol tautomerism of the acetone, what happens? Whatever the acid which we are using or the bronsted acid that is the proton donors, they are forming a intermediate complex compound in this way which is further decomposed into the product in this way and forming the enol and whatever the H plus which we have used here that is set free as it is. Means in the acid catalysis whenever acid is used as a catalyst then the H plus ion or the proton donor is used by the reactant to form the intermediate complex. This intermediate complex further decomposes into the product and the catalyst is made free as it is as previous. This is happening in the acid catalysis. Then by using the base as a catalyst It may be OH minus ion or it may be proton acceptor. First of all, I am explaining the OH minus ion. First example, decomposition of nitramide in the presence of OH minus. In the presence of OH minus ion. In the presence of OH minus, it gives the NH NO2 minus 
plus H2O. Means this is a intermediate complex. Means OH minus ion, which is acting here as a base catalyst, that is withdrawing one hydrogen from the nitramide and forming the water as a byproduct and forming a intermediate complex compound with which we are concerned. This intermediate compound is further divided or decomposed into the product in this way. NH N O2 minus decomposes and it gives the N N2O plus OH minus N in this way. Means whatever the OH minus ion which is used as a catalyst from the weak basis or the undissociated basis in the at the time of in the beginning part of the reaction this OH minus ion with the reactant forming a intermediate complex. This intermediate complex upon a decomposition gives the N2O and OH minus ion. This is a base which is used that is set free as it is. This is the example of the acid base catalysis with the help of base catalysis in the form of OH minus ion. This is the mechanism for the how the base catalysis is working in detail. Second example, now here I am using a base of not OH minus type. A proton acceptor type of base I am using here for the decomposition of nitramide. NH2 NO2 that is the nitramide which shows the reaction in this way CH3COO- This is a compound or the ion which is acting here as a proton acceptor and proton acceptors are nothing but the bronze state base that is the general base then this forming the CH3COOH. One hydrogen is withdrawn by the CH3COO minus and forming the acetic acid. And the remaining complex is NH NO2 minus. It is a intermediate complex. This intermediate complex then dissociated in this way and forming the N2O plus OH minus ion. But later on this OH minus ion and this acetic acid are combining with each other and forming the acetate ion which is used previously. CS3 COOH plus OH minus ion which is forming H2O plus CH3 COO minus. In this case, CH3 COO minus, which we have used during the initial stage of the reaction, that CH3 COO minus, that is the acetic ion, had withdrawn one hydrogen from the reactant and had formed the acetic acid and formed the intermediate complex. 
this intermediate complex upon dissociation forming the N2O plus OH minus ion. But this OH minus ion and this acetic acid are sharing the reaction with each other and forming the H2O and CH3CO minus that is the acetic ion which is acted here as a base catalyst that is the proton acceptor is set free at the end of the reaction. Means in this way in the acid base catalysis acids or bases or acid and bases they are acting as a catalyst to catalyze the catalyzing re catalyze chemical reactions to enhance the rate of reaction and hence it is called a acid base catalysis and the catalysts are acid base catalysts. This is regarding the mechanism of acid base catalysis. In short, in the mechanism, whenever acid or base is reacting with the reactant, they form the intermediate complex. And that intermediate complex later on dissociate into the product and acid or base which is used during the course of reaction as a 